fighter who checks all the boxes. DC, here is the UFC featherweight king, your right hand man, Max Blessing. The Blessing Trust is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC's featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway in his preparation. Drew Wyatt to his soul, and it shows the toughness that he exhibited instead of the opposite. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer, BJ oh. Penn, Max Blessed Holloway. If you guys are gonna be able to match the cardio, you mentioned the pace and the pressure. All eyes on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. championship fight. And he has won other major titles. Obviously, the bank account looks pretty good. But Justin Gaethje is always going to be fighting the best in the world. And that is his reality once again here in the Octagon team. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's who you first? Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Max Frost. Champion of the world, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. All right, so here is the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Justin Gaethje, as we get this early round underway. He believes he has a decided striking advantage in this matchup, and even though he can counter with the best of them, he said he's going to go on the offensive and maybe take some risks here tonight. Straight left counter is true. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter, to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Well, nice job by Gaethje to land and then roll with the punches. We talk a lot about his legendary chin, but maybe he doesn't get enough credit for the striking defense and his ability to move that head off the center line. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, thwack, that is a solid kick right there. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. Holloway gets caught by that straight punch there. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. 
Frantic pace early on to this one. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Make the bad man stop. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that. Oh! Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Holloway's now dealing with a cheek cut. Just relentless in oh! Well, this is what the fans came to see. Max Holloway at his best on the feet. Just an incredible combination of volume and accuracy to him. I mean, it's just the volume that really does stand out about Max Holloway. Even in the Calvin Cater fight, the numbers that he put up are out, out of worldly. We don't see people strike at that rate. This guy can go so hard over the course. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get in this place so that he doesn't get finished. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head. Max Holloway. Oh, my goodness. Circling towards the left now. Oh, a nice straight there by Gage. Holloway's eye now closing up. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water. Now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Nice leg kick. Gaethje's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. That level of Gaethje's pretty. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut Ready on his cheek. I'm just Ready. saying. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> Second round here. And that one's... He's hurting bad here. Continuing to go to the head. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Oh my goodness, jab by Gaethje. Look at the left hook. That's one of Justin's best shots. Closes the 
positions beautifully. He's got a single collar cut. Job getting his hands up. Huge shot finds the ball. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Back and forth we go. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway? This is a crazy high pace. Gaethje's eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. So we hit the three minute mark here on the second round. Good body work with that hook. Oh, oh he's got him hurt badly now. Seventy total strikes have landed for Max West Holloway. While not the most efficient effort today, the numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Justin Gaethje. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the studio. But so that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the... Man, has this should have been tested early. It was worse. Under two minutes to go. Oh! Well, Gaethje leaning on that leg kick early as usual. He's got a great chin, but he also rolls with the punch as well. He maybe isn't get the credit he deserves for his defensive acumen as a striker. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Holloway. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you've got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Straight right, he misses. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that. Oh, there it is again. Look at that. Oh, he's hurt. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Under 20 seconds now to go. Holloway gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defense. Nice, low single takedown. He passes to half guard. Holloway's pass is denied. <clears throat> nice strike lands from the bottom. Two rounds in the books. Hey, stop. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back, he couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? You ready? 
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. And his opponent sees it. Good straight hand there by Holloway. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Max Blessed Holloway. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand there. Holloway's really targeting that cut right now, and why not? Oh, he's in trouble. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by Gaethje. Making all these shots count. Well, Gaethje's pass attempt denied. Lands the ground and pound strike. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, pausing the action here. The referee never wants to be the story, but given the swelling around that eye, doctor had to be called for here, champ. Well, he's having a very difficult time picking up the opponent, seeing where his opponent is, and he's getting tagged. He's getting pieced up. Dr. Corral's the referee. It looks as though this fight will continue, at least for now. But certainly that swelling bears watching as we move forward. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. Well, Gaethje's tough as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time. And you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lim. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Hit that wrist control. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them at full guard. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan he just gets up. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Martial arts, folks, this is absolutely crazy. Both fighters dealing with critical damage and cuts. There's blood everywhere. Fans, stand up and give applause to these two men who are laying it all out on the line in the octagon. Back to the feet now. That was great head movement. Oh, man. The cut men on both sides have done an outstanding job 
keeping these guys in this fight. 30 seconds to go on the round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds to go. That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop in this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Max Bless. about it, folks. Max Holloway by knockout. He had a different tone to him this week in our fighter meeting. He was urgent. Felt like he kind of needed a statement maker here tonight. Couldn't have done more to maximize the show. I mean, that's exactly what he did. He was very aware of what he needed to do. He's had opportunities in school. So in order to earn another one, you got to make a statement. you got to be impressive. That is exactly what Max Holloway was. And if you're going to get a title fight, he said, you got to do something special. Certainly one adjective to describe the finish Max Holloway produced here tonight.